The great Donald Dallas, class of 1932. God, he's a really good man. A graduate from the first decade of Phi Chapter, in the years afterward, Don recognized the need to support the chapter and established the Harvard Red and Old Gold Club, a unique membership-based foundation dedicated to creating a permanent endowment to support leadership education for the men of Phi Ta at Bethany. His tireless efforts for recruitment and fundraising led to an eventual organization with an endowment of more than $200,000 that has sent dozens of students to national leadership training events over the years. <laughs> Dick Bees, class of 1950. A member of the Grant generation and one of many veterans who returned from World War II to get their college degrees, Dick was the heart and soul of Phi Kappa Ta, both as an undergraduate and through decades as a loyal alumnus to Phi Chapter and to Bethany College. Through his regular visits to the campus and usually breezy heights afterwards and his tireless support of Bethany and Phi, Dick exemplified the spirit of brotherhood, fellowship, and devotion to alma mater. Every man was his brother and every brother a friend. into Phi Kappa Ta and ended up served, serving as our longest serving chapter advisor. For a remarkable 32 years, he provided warm, wise counsel filled with good humor and opened his heart and his home to generations of brothers. He was honored by the National Fraternity as outstanding chapter advisor and his achievements in education and service earned him a spot in the inaugural National Phi Kappa Ta Hall of Fame in its, in its centennial year back in 2006. He has been recognized for his service by Bethany as an emeritus professor and, nas and nationally as a naturalist and experts on birds. But to most of us here tonight, he will always have a special spot in our hearts as a devoted advisor and friend. Bucky retired to Colorado and wishes he could join us tonight, but we hope he's following us on Facebook so we can let him know how much we love him. Love you, Bucky. That yeah. Thomas C. Skeena, class of 1985. The man, the myth, the legend. Responding to a crisis at Phi Chapter in the early 1990s, Tom led the revitalization of Phi Graduate Council by serving 18 years as president and establishing and serving on the first Phi Chapter Board of Governors. Under his leadership, the Graduate Council raised operating funds for the chapter and sponsored a series of successful five-year reunions beginning in 1993 and culminating with this centennial reunion. In 2011, he began 12 years of service as treasurer of the Harvard Red and Old Gold Club, stewarding this important source of leadership development funding for the chapter. And just this year, Tom spearheaded the new Phi Second, excuse me, Phi Second Century partnership with Bethany College, designed to ensure the future of Phi Capital at the college, at the same time supporting the alma mater. Tom has been and remains the driving force behind our alumni success for three decades and shows no signs of stopping. Tom, please stand up, take a bow. You deserve it. Their names, images, and contributions to our chapter will be enshrined in a permanent place of honor in the chapter house as an inspiration for future brothers. Now, please welcome again past national president and centennial chairman Greg Heilmeyer for just one more special presentation. <laughs> you always had trouble with my name. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you, Bill. And thanks everybody for what was on an unexpected award earlier. We've had a great time this weekend, connecting with friends and making new ones and honoring our heritage. However, Fight Centennial is more than just a reunion with our classmates. It's a celebration of the continuing success of the Phi chapter of Bethany College. And that success has always relied not only on good men of distinction at the student level, but the continuing support of dedicated alumni after they leave Bethany. You've seen evidence of that all weekend, especially tonight. That support takes forms of time, talent, and treasure. The hours of time our dedicated volunteers have spent working to keep Phi Tall strong. The talent so many of them bring helping these good men get living and leadership experience that they enjoy all joy here in Bethany. And the last most important leg of the stool, treasure. From the establishment of our Harvard Redinol Gold Endowment found in Educational Endowment, which changed Phi, Cap Phi Chapter forever and for the better. To our chapter's regular support of the Phi Capital Foundation, to today's announcement of the forward-looking Phi Second Century Fund, Phi Tall Brothers have always reached, reached down, stepped up, and been there. The last point of this treasure, I'm so I'm sure many of you know Brother Tom Abrams, class of 1979. Tom was a dedicated house manager during his time at Bethany, and after graduation, much like tonight's key award honoree, Greg White, he became active with the Phi Kappa Tall chapters around the country and served other chapters, serving as domain director and board of governors members in South Carolina. Tom cannot be here tonight, but he wanted to do something very special for the resident council chapter tonight. So I'd like to have Christian Ferrari come forward, please. Tom's goal when he was a domain director was always to work with the chapters and the resident council was where he lived and breathed. So he wanted to do something, something direct and immediate good for the resident council. So this week he sent me a check and I have the real one in my room. <laughs> I'm happy to present this to brothers on Tom's behalf tonight. And afterwards I'd like all the resident council members to stand forward or come forward so they can take a picture so we can send it to Tom but he generously donated $10,000 to the that as a foundation we would occasionally get untethered donations. The resident council, this is an untethered donation for you, so I'm sure that your advisors will talk to you and, and try to make sure you spend it wisely. Not, not like on the wacky water border that we spent two and a half weeks at chapter meetings discussing when I was secretary, and if we could find the minute books, we could talk about it because one of the physics students decided it was powerful enough to hit students walking out of Richardson if we mounted it to the roof of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, this has been a wonderful night, and now we're going to be closing things down here in a few moments. It's been a, a pleasure for me to serve as your host tonight as we celebrate 100 years of Phi Tau at Bethany. What an honor it is to be here, and I appreciate Brother Heilmeyer called me last October, asked me what I was going to be doing this weekend, and I said, well, my dad celebrates his 81st birthday on October 26th, but I don't have to be here to the, till the 27th, so I was able to celebrate my dad's 81st the other day. God bless him. I love him a lot, and I love being here with you guys. This has just been the highlight of my year. Now to conclude this evening, I'd like to invite John Sayers back to conduct our fraternity's candlelight ceremony. If I'd have known I'd been coming back and forth so much, I would have got somebody else to do this, honest. <laughs> but this is our traditional closing for our uh, fraternity banquets. Uh, I've been going to these for so many years, I can barely remember it. It's always a moving experience. Uh, this evening, we placed a celebration and observance of the 100th anniversary of Phi Chapter 
at Bethany into the pages of history and our fraternity, but more importantly, forever a vision of the promising future. This evening we close this special occasion not only by celebrating the birth of an organization on the Bethany College campus, but the birth of an experience which began over, over 100 years ago on the campus of Miami University at Oxford, Ohio. On a cold March day in 1906, a group of determined young men gathered in another old man to share fully in their belief and the experience of fraternity and to share their vision. Now, more than a century later, Phi Kappa Tau's founders would each be pretty enthusiastic about meeting us all tonight, I think. Those four men from Oxford were not myths, and neither were the 24 Bethany students who brought Phi Kappa Tau to the rolling hills of West Virginia in 1923. They were just flesh and blood. Importantly, they were also students, just like the young brothers who join us this evening. Get my phone out now so I can see this. How about a candle? Fire stuff. Sound good. Thank you. So it's especially appropriate then that we bring to a close this milestone event in the history of Phi Chapter with a reaffirmation and celebration of brotherhood in this, our candlelight ceremony. So at this time, I'd, I invite the following brothers to come forward. Uh, Braden, Braden, <laughs> Braden Olianik, our youngest member, past national president Mike Davila, graduate of Alpha Omega chapter at Baldwin Wallace, Gary Bergman, class of 1981 and my classmate, and for Ken Lawrence, we're going to do this uh, by, via remote, we're going to get uh, Brent Reynolds, and then you can go back and see Ken. He's coming. Oh, Ken Lawrence. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> Never underestimate a World War II vet. <laughs> These men represent the four founding fathers of Phi Kappa Ta and the 24 Rakabites who founded Phi Chapter. Tonight, upon them rests the task of carrying forward the Founder's original spark of brotherhood to the brothers here assembled, represented in these little candles. <laughs> Gentlemen, please take your spark to one of the four corners of this room. <laughs> Technology. Don't you have that done? <laughs> there you go. All right. In reflecting on our past and anticipating our future, it is important that we once again reaffirm the bond of brotherhood which brought us here tonight, and the bond of brotherhood which will return us at the appropriate time. We do this through our candlelight ceremony. Phi Kappa Ta is committed to developing values, developing character, developing young men to become good citizens, and continuing that process after these young men have left college. Through that process, Phi Kappa Ta becomes an experience that encompasses many things to each of us. If you're not a member of Phi Kappa Ta, maybe in some way you have been touched by this experience. To each of us who do claim membership, the experience is a very personal one, one that we share with each other at this very moment. It's the same sharing of purpose that brought our fraternity into being. In fact, the men who are credited with creating it all happened were actually building a bridge, a bridge for us, a bridge for us to follow. There's an old Welsh proverb that says, he who would be a leader must first be a bridge. I suspect that those old Rakabites back in 1933 had little way of knowing that they were bridge builders. Much as I suspect the young men in this room here tonight may not realize that they too have become builders of important bridges. Tonight we're all building a bridge, 
a bridge for those who seek the Phi Kappa Tau experience at Bethany, now and in the months and years to come. It's our job to make certain the bridge is sturdy, the bridge is sound and able to withstand the test of time. Now I invite every brother and associate member with us this evening to rise, take their spark, and form a circle of brotherhood in the room. For those guests and friends who are not members of our fraternity, we're so glad that you could join us in this special presentation and our special centennial celebration to observe a symbol of what our organization stands for, believes in, and cherishes. I offer now this story, written not by a member of our fraternity, but certainly someone who had the experience of true brotherhood uppermost in his mind. Take the glasses off to read this one. Maybe put them back on. <laughs> An old man going a lone highway came at the evening cold and gray to a chosen vast, to a chasm vast and deep and wide. The old man crossed in the twilight dim. The sullen stream gave no fear to him. But he turned, when safe on the other side, and built a bridge to span the tide. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta start over, John. <laughs> Can you read now? There we go. Thank you. Thank you. So as you remember from before, the old man crossed the river and built a bridge. We shall continue. Old man, said a fellow pilgrim near, you're wasting your strength with building here. Your journey will end with the close of day. You never again will pass this way. You've crossed the chasm deep and wide. Why build you a bridge at evening tide? The builder lifted his old gray head. In the path where I have come, he said, there follows after me today a young man whose feet must pass this way. This chasm has that been not for me, to that fair-haired youth may be a pitfall be. He too must cross in the twilight dim. So, good friend, I build this bridge for him. With those words, we gain some understanding to our purpose, what we're about. The star of Phi Kappa Ta shines brightly with us tonight. We now have the task ahead to make certain that star never dims, that we keep building bridges for those yet to come, for those who we may never meet, but knowing they will all be better off for our having been here today. And we are all lifted up by the spirit of the men who, many years ago, started that bridge by sharing a common goal, a common purpose, and who believed in each other. Men who have become part of a brotherhood that exists, grows, and serves not only in Bethany, but in communities across the nation and around the world. In Phi Kappa Tau, we continue to build, we continue to share, and we continue to serve. You each are forever a part of the history of this special gathering and of Phi Chapter of Bethany College. Until we meet again, may the spirit of Phi Kappa Ta continue to shine brightly in all of your hearts. Now it is only fitting that we conclude with our brotherhood song, Warblers, will you lead us? We are brothers now and ever until
Let us bow our heads in awe. We'll meet again in heaven, sure, in the name of Phi Kappa There is one more thing tonight. Before you leave, brothers, please take a moment, stop by the table up front, to sign our special Phi Chapter Centennial Charter. To make your mark so we can all remember this time that we've had here together this weekend. I took your license. That's mine. <laughs> Thank you all for everything. Good night. Good luck and God bless Phi Capital. Thank you. Thank you.